Uh, Lawrence, Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel said the team has made an offer to free agent Odell Beckham Jr. Odell had a weird year in Baltimore, he's anonymous in the playoff game, but did have stretches towards the end of the season where he looked like Odell Beckham. Yeah, he, he showed that he could be a value to an offense. Um, <clears throat> cut, w coming here uh, to the Dolphins, I would have, uh, you know, lower expectations than what I did him going to the Ravens because obviously they got Tyree Hill. You got Jalen Waddle, that's 2,000-yard receiver. Well, hell, Tyree Hill is a 1,700-yard receiver. Then you got Waddle, who's a 1,000-yard receiver, but he could be a nice compliment to them. But I don't think we'd be going into drafts saying, well, who do you want? Like last year we said, who do you want, Zay Jones or Odell Beckham? I don't – like, it's not going to be no question about that. He'll be a good piece for that offense from a real football perspective because he's a different receiver than them. But, uh, you know, coming off of 35 receptions, 565 yards and three touchdowns, like, that's about what you probably would expect from him if he signed with the Dolphins. You're, you hit it on the head. He's going to be a better NFL player. Like, it gives me more confidence in Tua, assuming Tua's back with Miami, than it does about – I don't think you can draft Odell Beckham Jr. No. To me, what it is is if, no. if there's an injury at some point to Tyree Killer or Jalen Waddle next year, we're going to be talking about him on the waiver wire show. Hey, go pick up OBJ. Yeah. But other than that, like you just because you also forget, like they should hopefully have Devon Achan for the entire season. They're going to use him in the passing game and right. Mostert as well. And so OBJ is a guy that's going to like they'll use him in a couple of ways and like he'll maybe have a big play here or there, a splashy yeah. play. It's another weapon for Tua. It's another weapon for McDaniel. But in terms of consistent fantasy production, I just don't see it unless there's an injury. Yep. Well, I think a guy who might outperform Odell Beckham this season is uh, my man Josh Reynolds, signed by the Denver Broncos, formerly of the Lions, to a two-year $14 million deal, Matthew. I mean, Josh Reynolds, there's not, there aren't a lot of players on the Broncos who are going to steal targets from him. Yeah, I mean, other than Cortland Sutton, listen, I still, I'm Marvin Mims. I'm st at cost, I'd much rather have Marvin Mims. I think, again, let's figure out what their quarterback situation is going to be because I still don't think we know just yet. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if Cortland Sutton's on the team come August um, because he was rumored to be traded, as was Judy. Judy's already moved on. Cortland Sutton is still there. But, you know, if, if they go into the season with Marvin Mims and Josh Reynolds, like, I prefer Marvin Mims. But I think Josh Reynolds is a nice piece. I don't know that he's going to have a ton of fantasy value. You've got, you know, Tim Patrick coming off the injury as well. He'll be there maybe. So let's see how this all shakes out. Yeah. But I thought it's – listen, it, it's nice money for yeah, for Josh I Reynolds who had, that. other than this second half against the um, Niners, had so, a really good season. Know, it's a tough yeah. second half for yeah, Josh Reynolds. Was, I mean, yeah. like, he had, Detroit had to move on yeah. after that. Like, he, that guy can't – you know, it's unfortunate, right? It's like it he had brutal. he had two really really bad plays at the worst possible moment. Yep. Yeah, um, just you know, awful, awful. Tell you what, if you're Jimmy Gibbs, you're so happy. Well, you're not happy about it, but it was good for his memory of that game that Josh Reynolds did what he did. Because Gibbs had the costly fumble that really That's cost right. him dearly. But right uh, behind uh, the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Josh Reynolds catches that ball on fourth and two. They win, they, the the they Lions win are going to the Super Bowl. They may have well have won the Super Bowl, yeah. Detroit. Um, so anyway, tough scene tough for scene. the Lions. Crazy. But um, uh, but anyway, know, like what percentage of NFL fans do you think know who the starting quarterback of the Denver Broncos is right now? It's, I'm not sure it's more than That's, 50 percent. Ten percent. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah. Ooh, who, hell, it's Jared, who is Jared? Jared Stidham. Stidham, Stidham, Stidham I would assume. Dinucci is, but I mean, I assume that the quarterback I, they're gonna is draft. on the team. I, yeah. I assume they're going to draft. But somebody. I mean, Jared Stidham's the Jared incumbent. Stidham. Oh no, Sean Payton's say, stubborn. Yeah. They signed him to a, like a two-year, like a ten million dollar deal last year, didn't they? They signed yeah. him like to, to pretty good backup money. I I'm guess. Not sure I mean, Sean Payton's going in the season with with that operation. But no, uh, no, a lot they, of questions about that Denver offense. Yep. A lot of questions about the Denver roster as a whole. You yep. see some people floating around trying to trade Patrick Sertan. Who who knows what's yep. going on? They, they their starting quarterback is likely not on their team right yes. now. It's probably going to be a rookie. Yep. They'll, they'll they're going to be. One of the teams that drafts a rookie. A lot of, uh, well, another team that may draft. J.J. McCarthy. Bo Nix, maybe. Bo Nix. Michael Penix. Michael Penix. Uh, another team who was in that discussion to draft a quarterback who, or who may not have their starting quarterback on the roster right now are the Las Vegas Raiders. But head coach Antonio Pierce said uh, QB Aiden O'Connell has earned a chance to compete for the starting quarterback job, Lawrence. What do you think the chances are that AOC is the QB heading into the season? <sighs> With, with Gardner Minshew there, I, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Gardner Minshew starts there to start out the season. He he got the 15 million, 
uh, there for the the two the two years. Pro Bowl uh, quarterback Gardner Minshew. Pro Bowl. Don't matter how you got it. I'm just saying. Pro Bowl. Yeah. Let's him thank and Tyler you for, Huntley. Thank you Pro for Bowl putting that out there. <laughs> uh, hey, look, they the 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 Colts was playing for the division in Week 18 against the Texans with Gardner Minshew at quarterback. We mm. know he's an up and down player, but that's why he's a backup, and that's also why Aiden O'Connell has a chance to compete with him to start. So. It'll be close, but we saw the Raiders win games with Aiden O'Connell not even throwing a damn ball. So, yeah, toss well, up, but I get an edge to miss you. Lawrence, they were competing for the division on the last day, but do you know why they lost the division? Because Gardner Minshew exactly. couldn't play a wide open screen that's pass it. to Tyler that's, Goodson. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Right, and that's exactly why Aiden O'Connell has a chance <laughs> to it. win the It wasn't the oh, best it wasn't pass. A great it pass. wasn't a great pass. It was, but, like, it was they both not a good pass. That play, I think. But, just, well, the, but the point did. remains, they was there. They could have been in the playoffs with yeah. Gardner Minshew, but the reason they weren't is why Aiden O'Connell has a chance to beat him we out. We like Aiden O'Connell, by the way. Friend of the podcast. Sure. He's, He's been great. on the show Shout a couple of times. He's a very like normal, him. lovely guy. Yeah, he was a fourth-round pick yeah. starting games and beating the Chiefs. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll, you know, yeah. I, I also don't think it necessarily matters who the quarterback is of the Raiders. Nope. Like, you know. Devonte Adams is going to get. Um, we'll see if Devonte Adams is still on the team come August. But um, assuming he is, him and Jacoby Myers are still going to get the majority of the work on a team that's going to run. That's what Antonio Pierce wants to do. He wants to run the ball. I think it's going to be a lot of a lot of Zamir White and play good defense. That's what the Raiders are going to try to be this year. Yep. Okay. Last item: Patriots head coach Gerard Mayo said Jacoby Brissett could absolutely be the team's starting quarterback next season. Now, I wouldn't, He has been before. Yes, he has been before, and he, he may well be. Again, I wouldn't read a great deal into this, Matthew, just because the Patriots seem to be entertaining offers potentially to trade the number three overall pick, so you want to give that illusion that maybe you are fine just drafting a wide receiver, but uh, what do you make of this news? Yeah, but I would agree with it. I think it depends on the Patriots are having internal discussion, I assume. I, I don't know. This is not me reporting news. I'm just assuming. I assume the Patriots are sitting there going, all right, you know, Mayo's now the coach. And so, hey, are we – where do we think we are? Do we think we're a quarterback away from competing? Or do we need to, like, really rebuild this whole thing? And if we're like, hey, if, we're, if we need to really rebuild this whole thing, then you know what? If somebody's going to offer us, like, a ridiculous haul for the pick – for the third pick – to get me either Drake May or Jaden Daniels or J.J. McCarthy, whoever's there after the first two picks. Maybe we do that, and we go for a year with Jacoby Brissett, who is a perfectly fine and serviceable starting quarterback. Like, he'll get you, he'll get you eight wins. He'll get you seven, eight wins. Like, yeah. we, can, we can be okay with Jacoby Brissett, and then we get this haul of picks that we can use to fortify our roster both this year and in the future, and maybe we address the quarterback position next season. And so... That may be, like, I could see that scenario. Or do they, hey, I mean, by the way, they could also, they trade out of three and they trade down. Like, do they trade with, I'm making it up, but do they trade with Minnesota, sure. right? Uh -huh. And now, they're, now they've got 11 plus some other yeah. picks, and maybe Bo Nix is there at 11. You know what I mean? Like, it depends on their, their own internal draft board. They may be like, we think the difference between, I'm making it up, Drake May and Bo Nix is not as much as the difference between having the 11th, the 22nd, and a number one next year yeah. and a linebacker or yeah. whatever it is. They, you know what I mean? Whatever haul they get. So I, 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 I do think <coughs> I will say this. Kraft, Robert Kraft was quoted as saying, boy, it would be nice to have an exciting young quarterback here. But I also do think that if internally they just believe, hey, you know what? We're more than a year away and yeah. it's more valuable to us to get the haul that we can get yep. for three. Yep than it is to, you know, um, draft whoever. And, and, and Brissett is back with them for a reason. Like, Gerard Mayo knows him. He's seen him in the building. He's seen him start games yeah. for that organization. And a lot of people feel like the draft will start because they're assuming the Patriots will take a quarterback. So people think that the draft will start at that four pick with the Cardinals and will they move out of it. But I truly do believe – it can be the Patriots because you have a veteran uh, right there uh, in Jacoby Brissett. Again, not the sexiest quarterback name, but like you said, he'll get you that eight-win range. He'll, he'll compete, you know, so it's like get those players build up. And, and there are teams that, you know, you've seen some <clears throat> of the rumors that have come out of uh, the, the owners' meeting as well. 
there are teams that could eat again it's sort of it all depends on how your draft board reads but if like if the if the giants are willing to move up they're at six right so the giants could say like hey we'll move up to three and you know and the patriots be like we're good with whoever's there at six yeah. like we don't yeah. have a huge difference between any of them so we're happy with getting whatever haul we can get from the giants and taking whoever's left at six versus you know the giants may say like we really we love Drake May, or we love Jaden Daniels, or whoever they think is going to be there at three. And they may not know till they're like, let's see who the commanders yeah. take. And then, Bingo. and then we may, hey, if our guy is there at three, we'll, we're willing to trade up because the Patriots may be like, we're good with whoever's there or whatever. Anyway, so be a lot. There are teams that could easily, that need a quarterback that could trade, you know, Raiders, Giants. Um, Vikings, Vikings, Broncos. Broncos. Yep. It's going to be Broncos. a fun draft. Yeah. It's going to be a really fun draft. <laughs> We will be breaking down, by the way, we will be here draft night, both nights doing quick reaction videos. It's going to be a very fantasy friendly draft. Me, you, and Connor, yep. I believe. So uh, yep. check that out. Yep. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.